Are you familiar with this equation? What? Plus 9 divided by 4 x dot plus 16 divided by 4 is 4 x is equals to 0. Standard equation is x double dot plus 2 zeta omega n x dot plus omega n square x omega n square is 4 so omega n equals to 2 and 2 zeta omega n is it 9 by 4 avoid Kelsey 2 zeta into 2 is equal to 9 by 4 so is zeta equal to 9 by 16 2x dot plus 10x dot plus 20x dot. So x double dot plus 5x dot plus 10x equals to 0. Standard equation is x double dot plus 2 zeta omega n x dot plus 10 is omega n square. So omega root 10 omega n is it 5 so zeta equals to 5 divided by 2 divided by root 10 0.79 with a frequency of 1 hertz when there is no damping no damping no damping means is it undamped so right, undamp. Frequency of vibration is given by what? Omega n. And is this omega n right now is given in the form of what? 1 hertz. So instead of omega n, I will write fn. Is it 1 hertz? Is this value is omega n divided by what? 2 pi. So indirectly, he has given us this value equal to what? 2 pi. When damping is provided, damping is provided, so we have a damp system. The frequency of damp vibration, frequency of damp vibration is omega d, is reduced by 10%, reduced by 10%. So is it 0.9 of the previous value? Now omega n under root of 1 minus zeta square is it equals to 0.9 into omega n. So actually omega n and omega n is cancel out. We can square this term. We get 1 minus zeta square equals to 0.81. And then you can solve for zeta. And in this question he has asked you a vehicle suspension system consists of a spring and a damper. So we have a standard damper system. The stiffness of the spring is given as 3.6 kN meter. So k equals to. Uh, remove kilo so this is 3600 Newton per meter and the damping constant is 400 so C equals to 400 Newton second per meter and mass is 50 he want to know what is the damping factor and damp frequency of vibration damp frequency yeah? damp frequency is FD not FN don't go by his way now he has only given this data so is the differential equation is m x double dot plus c x dot plus k x equals to zero differential equation so x double dot plus c by m x dot plus k by m now you put this value x double dot c is equals to what 400 divided by 50 plus k 3600 divided by mass 50 avoid cal c kar sakte hum log x double dot is it equal to 8 x dot chalo mein with the standard equation x double dot plus 2 zeta omega n x dot plus omega n square x 
so omega n square equal to 72 so what is the value of omega n so 2 zeta omega n equals to 8 put this value back and solve for zeta check your zeta 0.4716 so check your uh, first condition is valid or not is it less than zeta less than 1 you have to confirm this is it under damp system so for under damp system omega d is given by omega n under root of 1 minus zeta square answer is 7.47 but you want hers so hers is fd is omega d divided by 2 pi ok check out next we have a railroad bumper is designed as a spring in parallel with a viscous damper language is ok what is the damping coefficient you want to know what is the value of damping coefficient such that system has damping ratio equal to what zeta 1.25 over damp over damp if it is over damp you have to change the equation this is 1 minus zeta square or zeta square minus 1 naturally because otherwise it becomes what complex number and when the bumper is engaged by 20,000 kg railroad car so what is mass 20,000 and what is the stiffness 2 into 10 to the power 5 I see x dot plus kx so x double dot c by m x dot plus k by m standard equation is x double dot 2 zeta omega n x dot plus omega n square x equal to 0 now this time I know the zeta so what I do I first use this equation 2 zeta omega n equals to what c by m but right now I don't know what is it, is it omega n is known we can find out omega n what is omega n is it under root of k by m root of 2 into 10 to power 5 root 10 plus root 10 so 2 into zeta is 1.25 omega n is root 10 we don't know c but mass is what 20,000 so what is the value of c 0.4716 